All right. So welcome everybody. Thank you for being on. How did I get so lucky to have such lovely beings with bodies on this call? So our, our topic is receiving. Is that what it is? Yes. Receiving with bodies? Oh, damn. That same thing again, receiving. <laughs> When I started with access, I remember when I started with the first few classes, I would hear this word receiving and I'd be like, what the, what the shit are they talking about? What is receiving? Like, why can't they just say, take it? Why do they have to say, receive it? <laughs> I'd be like, what nonsense is this? Then I started to recognize that there's this energy that's available with receiving that's really not aware, not really available with taking or giving. Because receiving requires you to be in no judgment. Receiving requires you to be barriers down. Receiving requires you to see yourself as a gift. And how many of you are not even willing to look at yourselves as a gift? You'd rather look at yourself with the, through the eyes of, a, of judgment. You'd rather look at yourself with how wrong you are. So what have you made so vital, valuable and real about not receiving? What have you made so vital, valuable, and real about not receiving? Who wants to go? If, this, if something doesn't have value attached to it, would you choose it? No, right? So if you're yes. choosing, you would choose it if it has no value to it? Yes. If... Uh... If I'll get a chance to go in the woods, uh, I will definitely choose because finally I have come to know that whatever is like beautiful in the planet, on the planet is free. So definitely I will. Yeah, but that's value, right? That's, 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 got, that's like beyond, beyond what can be defined as value, right? That's how much value that is, nature. But you would choose nature simply because you're like, my body receives and I'm in nature. There's so much that, that goes on that I'm there. When I'm there, that I really want to receive. I will choose that. Nature my, doesn't that judge us. My, but I want you all to look at this energy of, would you choose anything if you didn't have any form of value attached to it? And the value could be undefined. You know, like Ankita said, it's a very undefined form of value. Like, yeah, it's, you, she just knows it expands her world. She just knows it's light. She just knows it's, it's contributing. It's so interesting when you spoke of value, that even value has so many meanings that we've given yes. it. Yes. You must have only like it be money or something valuable. Yeah. Yeah, darling, that. Right. So everywhere that you have to choose something based on the defined value that you can attach to it, instead of just receive the undefined value, you destroy and uncreate that. Right, wrong, good, bad, pop, pop, call nine shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. So when you're choosing something, you really want to look at, are you choosing from the space of lightness? Are you choosing from the space of a question? Or are you choosing from a space of a conclusion, a decision, the assumptions, the presumptions of what your choice will create? If you're choosing from the latter, that's not a choice. Okay? That's a judgment. 
But if you're choosing from the former, which is a lightness and the expansiveness, now that is choice. And when you choose, you receive. So what are you choosing that you haven't yet acknowledged to yourself? That you're receiving also. It's like, hey! <laughs> Achita, so good to see you, my dear. Congratulations mm -hmm. for your husband. See, he's getting, he's in the army and he's getting a medal tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome, lovely. Yeah. Um, hmm. So, if you're, what are you choosing that you've not acknowledged that you are receiving? I mean, you could be choosing pain and then you're receiving it, but you're not acknowledging that you're choosing it. You're being like, pain just happens to me. I don't choose it. I am so empowered. I am so infinite. I don't choose it. This just happens to me. Everything that brought up. Can we destroy and uncreate that? Right, wrong, good, bad, pot, 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 line shots, voids, poets, and beyonds. The thing is, when you don't acknowledge that you're choosing something, you think you're at the effect of it. You believe that you're at the effect of it. And now you can't change it. Because you made something else a source of what you're receiving. The source is you, sweethearts. It's what you choose. And it shows up in your body. It could show up in your body as, I mean, if you're choosing, if you're choosing to have ease, it will show up in your body. You know, it will show up. Maybe you're, okay, let's, let's, let's look at this really simple example of maybe you're traveling to a different country. Okay. And with the travel, you're choosing ease. Now you'll get your visa easily. You'll get a great ticket. You'll get upgraded. You know, you'll have a really nice looking host or a hostess serving you. And, you know, everything's ease. Your flight won't be late. But now, if you're not choosing ease, the same situation, you won't get your visa, you'll have a problem with the visa, you may get it eventually, you will get a lot of traffic on the streets to reach the airport. You will all, you'll be like, oh my God, why is there so much traffic? Why is there so much traffic? It's not the why, it's like, what am I choosing here that's creating this? Because you're receiving what you're choosing. <laughs> So what different choice could you make that can have you receive, that can have your body receive ease? Um, and my mind, the equation is either I can have money or ease in life. How can I receive money with ease? The how question. <laughs> What if you can change it to what choice can I make here that can have me receive with ease? Are you willing to receive everything with ease, the good, the bad, the ugly, which also includes the money, which also includes no money? Yeah, Chandni? Chandani, I seem to have chosen no money. Yeah, totally. Like, you know, if you, the money that you have right now is what you are choosing. No less and no more. Whatever you choose is what will show up as your reality. You're not a victim of circumstances. Your life is showing up as the choices that you are making and your body will reflect that.
So what different choice can I make that has me receiving money with ease? Maybe you want to run that. So I want money and ease, but my body feels closed. Is your body closed? Or do you have your barriers up to receiving? Yeah. What are barriers? Points of use. <laughs> barriers are energetic walls which are beautifully constructed and designed and put together by points of use. So what points of use do I have about money? What points of use do I have about receiving? And fuck and pot them. What am I avoiding with receiving? What am I defending with receiving? What am I avoiding with money? What am I defending with money? Don't run these clearings. It will change your reality. Okay, Chandni. All right. I am now going to go to Rachita's question. Is ease an easy cinnamon, a cinnamon? No. Ease is ease. Easy is easy. Easy is doing it easily. You know, like it's easy. But something that's not easy, you could have ease with it. Ease is the energy of where you're willing to be contributed to. Ease is the energy of where you're willing to receive from the universe. Easy is something that you've probably mastered and you know how to do it. Did you get the difference, darling? Yes, Shandana. Awesome. Namrata, how can I unchoose something which isn't working and choose different? Again, a how question. Oh, I have a lot of how questions today. Okay. What different choice can I make now? Yeah. What different choice can I make now? What if everything in your life is about the choices you're making every 10 seconds? Everything that's showing up in your world is a choice that you're making. How present would you have to be with the choices that you make that has you receiving what you're asking for? Yeah. Right and wrong, good and bad, hot and fuck, online shots, boys, forwards, and beyonds. Yes. Yeah. Hey, number okay, five. Yes. Hi, thank you, thank you. It's amazing. Yeah, welcome, so, dear. Yes. So, can it be like if I'm not choosing consciously, some old pattern may show up, or somebody else pattern show up, which is unknowingly created, creating that choice. Like any time. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, if I'm consciously choosing ease, that shows up. But if I, I'm not choosing it, sometimes it's uh, maybe old pattern or maybe somebody else reality. So when you are not creating your reality, who's creating yeah. it for you? This reality. Hmm. And what is this reality? Pain and problems and suffering. What is your reality? Ease. Ease, joy, glory right. and possibilities. Right. So would you rather choose to create your reality or would you rather have this reality create yours? No, my reality. So how present do you have to be? You know, when you said that I'm not conscious, this happens. You also got to get that your one, one choice that's unconscious has you creating a thousand years of pain and misery. So everywhere you made those unconscious choices, could you now please unchoose them? Yes, totally. Destroy and uncreate all of that? Yes. With no judgment of you, with no judgment of the choices, no. with no judgment no. of what you created? No. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and puck, online shots? No. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, totally. I'm giving it up. <laughs> right, wrong, good and bad, pot online shots, boys, four yes. ads. <laughs> so, yeah, it's like, you know, when, when you judge a choice, 
okay, when you judge what you've created, you're just going to create more of that crap. Yeah. So what's yeah. the value of judging your creation? Right. Riding wrong, getting back, button back on lunch, voice for that could be on. Yeah. And I was also facing some fears, like, uh, I don't want to go into the story, but I was perceiving people who were uh, going through trauma during COVID and that somehow I took it personally and I was not able to sleep well sometimes. And that changed the vibe. Like initially I was in a very beautiful space, uh, initial days of COVID, but then later on and that some fears. But COVID was many 10 seconds ago. Where are you still holding on to that? Yeah. So how what can if, I be in my what, energy? Like, energy? What if COVID is also a choice? Yeah. What if receiving okay. COVID yeah. is fun for some? I mean, how many humanoids were like, oh, wow, that looks like a different energy. Do I want to experience that? Okay, maybe I'm not dying. Let me just experience what others are experiencing. Just because I can. No. <laughs> so no, I mean, how many humanoids did that? I did that. I was like, what is this? What are they going through? I want to know what they're going through. I know I can do that. I know I won't die. I know, I, I know I'll change it. It's it just curiosity. What is happening? You know, maybe. <laughs> Every way we judge that. Every way we judge that choice of getting, you know, COVID and almost dying. Can we please acknowledge that we didn't die? Can we please acknowledge our bodies are way healthier today? We're stronger today? Yeah. Can we please acknowledge that we are, we are here on this planet to change something? Yeah not to be at the effect of it. But if you make COVID greater than you and bigger than you, what you will receive is being at the effect of COVID. Yeah. So the main thing was, like main pattern was like, I was perceiving other people, receiving awareness is fine, but then it, if it stays as a trauma and then I'm taking personally, that was not like- When you receive me. awareness and you judge it, yeah. That's when it shows up as trauma or whatever in your life. Okay. What if you can just receive the whispers of awareness? Yeah. And just and, be interesting point of view with it. And when to contribute and when to not contribute. Like how to know. I will just give you a prescription by Dr. <laughs> Chandana Pawa. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, this is energy work, love. There is no prescription to this. You just got to ask right. a question. Like, is yeah. now the time? Is now the time to contribute? That's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Otherwise, Maybe I will I send you a prescription and I will track. charge you. And I will charge you for the prescription. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess it's time to track that energy. That's what I got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you know, yeah. darling, what different choice can you make? That's just ease. It yeah. doesn't have to be difficult. If something's difficult for you, you're not using the tools of access consciousness. You're doing something else. Yeah. Access is the easiest damn thing on the planet. Yeah. It's not easy. What am I doing here? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome, love. Ankita, I see your hand up for a while, love. So when multiple times I have just, you know, I know, uh, I know. I'm so <laughs> sorry about that. I saw hand go up. No, and no, go up. Go because, up and go no, no. <laughs> the reason is uh, I got, you know, a couple of answers. Still, I would like to ask this question, ma'am. Uh, there is this very small thin line between, you know, creating abundance and going into a lack. Okay. So what happened is I create and uh, after a few days, I perceive the energy of lack especially in terms of money I'm talking about. So is that I stop, you know, uh, I stop myself uh, choosing uh, in terms of creation or creating that energy. So how can I ma'am, define it? Like how can I segregate and how can I outcreate this thing? Okay, so everywhere you're looking at segregating lack and abundance, we destroy and uncreate that. Segregation is a form of separation. What are you asking for abundance of? Are you asking for abundance of pain? Are you asking for abundance of lack? Do you have clarity with what you're really asking for? And a question that I really enjoy playing with 
off and on is what is the ratio of pain to pleasure in my world? Is pain higher or is pleasure higher? Because that's what I'll create. That's what I'll receive. So if my ratio where pain is higher in those 10 seconds and I suddenly receive abundance of cash and abundance of money, but I'm like, oh my God, got so much money. Oh my God, what do I do with it? Let's just go to pain. No money, lack. You're such a, I mean, you all are such creators. You're such potent creators. And it's just so much of ease to create. What will it take for you to acknowledge it's a creation? It's not something that happens to you. And whose, whose reality of lack am I trying to equalize with my reality that has me creating lack constantly? Right and wrong. Thank you, ma'am. Pot and pock are nine shots, boys, for us and beyonds. You're welcome, beauty. Okay, so Rachita says whenever something great happens to me, I tend to go to protecting that feeling. Oh, I want to hold on because this feeling will go away. And then something bad will happen. But I need to save it from people. I now ask, what can I create from the space? What else can I add to it? Beautiful. Great. Yeah, that. Feelings are inventions. If you try to hold on to a feeling, you're going to, it may start to show up as, it may start to show up as something that you get controlled by. Every feeling is an emotional forward and every how is a literal forward. So how many literal forwards and how many emotional forwards are you using that keeps you constantly rejecting what you could be receiving? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, nine shots, boys, poets, and beyonds. And how different would your body be? You know, Namrata was talking about the creation and I couldn't get, get to that. I wanted to really talk about that, but I'm just going to go to what she was talking about, creation. I just wanted all, want, would like you all to acknowledge that the first creation is your body. Your first creation is your body. Do you receive your creation? Or do you judge your creation? Do you receive your creation or do you reject your creation? Where there is rejection, there is pain. Where there is receiving, there is ease. If I could share. Yes, please. Before I took my first body class, I used to take my body for granted. You know, till I got two access and they started talking about the body and the capacities that it has. Yeah. I didn't even know what it was like to include your body. Absolutely. And it's like creation, the way you look, everything just changed. You know? The way yeah. you be, the way you function is so different. So that yeah. inclusion is something that we didn't know. It was just like, I'm born with my body and that's it. I never knew how to talk to my body or anything. Just a piece of flesh, no? <laughs> <laughs> oh, today there's too much flesh. Today there's less of flesh. Who teaches us about the body? So, yeah, absolutely. Nishita. Absolutely, Nishita. Thank you for sharing that. Who teaches you to even acknowledge your body? Like, what a big one that is. No one teaches you to acknowledge your body. Everyone teaches you to judge your body.
And what the three-day body class does is it actually gets you to acknowledge your body. Gets you to receive from your body. Gets you to perceive the silent whispers, the communication. And gets you to be present with your body. Like especially food, you know, we are so used to stuffing ourselves and now I'm like asking, what would my body like to eat? My body is so much lighter. I feel like I walk so differently, like I'm floating yeah. and it's very different. Yeah, you almost fly, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like dancing with the molecules. Absolutely, my dear. What is pragmatic reality and what can I be to let the body tune to it every 10 seconds? So this reality, we've been told to be practical about things. Like be practical. This is magic is not possible. Stop being stupid. Magic is not possible. Stop being stupid. You can't just change your body by choice. You know, be practical. How many of you have heard that? You can put your hands up if you have. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> and how many? Of you? Yeah. And it's like, have any of you been actually introduce to the energy of being pragmatic with what is true for you. Being pragmatic with what is true for your body. And everything that doesn't allow you to know, we perceive and to receive that. Could you please destroy and uncreate all of that times Godzillion? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock are nine shots, boys, boats, and beyonds. Yeah. What space can I be that has my body? showing up as a miracle that it was designed to be. And on that note, we are having a couple of body classes, one in Delhi that starts tomorrow and one in Mumbai with lovely Nishita and Reena hosting the class. And you are all welcome to join us. It's going to be tomorrow's at Panchil Park. And in Mumbai is going to be at Novotel Hotel. Panchil Park? Yeah. I sent you the I sent you the the message. I will send it to you again. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I will resend it to you. Okay. <laughs> I already booked the cab. Location me daldi. Please cancel. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll send it to you. I'll send you my location. Yeah. So I'll you are all invited, sweethearts. You if you are out of town, you can still catch a quick flight and get in in time for tomorrow's class in Delhi. Or if you want to catch us in Mumbai. You can get in touch with Reena Gandhi or you can get in touch with Nishita Gupta and or you can get in touch with me directly and let's play, let's play, let's play. Let's yes. have fun with bodies. Yeah. Let's have more fun with more bodies to show up. Absolutely. Absolutely. What magic can we all create with our bodies that you have no, not yet chosen? Yes, that, that you have not yet chosen. All right, lovelies. I just wanted to add. Uh, yes, darling. Classes with you and what I've seen in the way you facilitate, it's so nurturing, uh, so kind. And you know, there's such a grace with which you facilitate that truly, truly, it's so inviting and there's a warmth. And that's what I truly love. And like I said, you know, when I grow up, I want to be like you. <laughs> <laughs> you mean I've yes. grown up? <laughs> She's melty, <laughs> melty. <laughs> But, yeah. She's melty, 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 melty. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.
I'm so excited. My body is so alive. Yeah. Yeah. I have never so my acknowledgement is I've never hosted anybody and I would I'm so excited to host Chandana. <laughs> I am so excited guys to truly be coming to Mumbai for this class yeah. and there are some wonderful body process three day body classes happening around India right now get yourself yes. to a body class even if you can't get yourselves to either of these two there are many more happening. Get yourselves to one. Your body will be nurtured. Your body will be healed. You will be, it'll be a very different reality, guys. Your world will be very different. So each one of you is invited to join us. And thank you all for taking time out and for actually being here with us. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Good night and have a lovely, lovely, lovely night ahead. Bye, guys. Thank you, Chandana. Thank you. And thank, thank you, so you much Nishita. And congratulations. Thank you, Reena. Thank, yeah. Yeah, thank, thank you, you, my love. Thank you, both of you, for putting this together. And thank, thank you, you, Sam. I don't know if you are there, love, but thank you for getting this out there. Thank you, everyone. And, uh, just now, I thank my body. You know? <laughs> because I have a good call. I have a good call. I have a good call. How does it get better than this? And just I really, people who don't you know, know Abhi Bittu is one hour away from my house. No, my house is also one hour. They both have one equal distance for me. But I had to do my plan at 9 o'clock at 9 o'clock. It's good. You know what? I'm going to acknowledge the miracle. Because now what you asked me about your question, I was just saying, what miracle are you, buddy? So now she acknowledged it. She said, you're going to come to the other side. I'm going to come to the other side. I will do that right away. <laughs> thank you all and thank you, Anita, for acknowledging the miracle that your body is. Thank I you. <laughs> <laughs> See you all. Bye, guys. Love and you. Chandana Auntie, will this yes, be your sir. first body class? No, love. Is... No, sorry, I... no, please don't be sorry. Thank yeah. you for asking. I have had a body class in Delhi with R.D. Singh. That was my first. I'm so sorry. Class. I thought I like I missed it. When, but Not at all. On Thank you. And then I had another body system. class in Bangalore yeah. on my own. Now I have another okay. one tomorrow, which is again on my own. Yes, Rachita was there in my first body class with R.D. Absolutely amazing. Mm. And then I have my fourth body class. In Mumbai. But first in Mumbai, right? Kind of. So, yeah. yeah. The, the first, first one in Mumbai. In Mumbai. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. To read. And first there. alone mm-hmm. in Delhi. First alone in Delhi. First alone in Delhi. Absolutely. See, so special <laughs> for everyone and for me. <laughs> lovely. All right, lovelies. Good night. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you all. <laughs>